Hi, welcome to our channel. How to calculate CP and CPK, PP and PPK. So we are going to calculate CP, CPK and PP, PPK for this uh, example data. And this is a sample data and the table contains subgroup of 24 subgroup and individual subgroup having 5 readings. So total reading of 120. So first we will understand the formula of uh, CP uh, and CPK, PP and PPK. So CP and PP the similar formula ESL minus LSL divided by 6 sigma. But the sigma calculation for CP and PP will differ that we will see. Same for CPK and PPK the formula is similar that is minimum value of USL minus X double bar divided by 3 sigma or X double bar minus LSL divided by 3 sigma. Again the sigma calculation for CPK and PPK will differ. So first we will understand the, the sigma calculation. For CP CPK we need to use the range method. So first we need to calculate the range and then we can able to calculate the sigma uh, for use uh, that will be useful for the CP CPK calculation. And the another one is uh, PPPPK that is uh, calculated by the root mean square method. So now we will calculate the uh, sigma for both CPCPK and PPPPK. So first uh, we will calculate range method. So range method we need range value for that we need to calculate maximum and minimum value. So individual subgroup we need to calculate the maximum and minimum. From that we can able to calculate range by maximum minus minimum. So once individual range value for subgroup available then we can calculate the R bar by taking average of all the individual range value. So it's come 0 0.579 for this case and the D2 is constant from the table. So for subgroup size we need to take a constant value. So for this case n equal to 5. So D2 value equal to 2.326. So sigma uh, we can use the formula r bar divided by d2 and the sigma value is actually 0 0.249. Now we need to calculate sigma by root mean square method that can useful for the PPPPK calculation. So for this we, we can use the standard deviation method. So no need to use individual steps we, we can use direct excel, excel function of stdev.s and select all 120 readings and you can get the value. So for this case it's 0 0.264. So now we have uh, sigma for uh, range as well as sigma for root mean square method. Now we can calculate the process capability and process performance. So we have USL, LSL for this case uh, USL 12.5 and LSL 11.5 as per customer requirement. And the process capability formula CP USL minus LSL divided by 6 sigma. The sigma here 0 0.249 that taken from the range method. So CP value is 0 0.64. Now we will calculate the process performance PP. The formula is similar but the sigma value of 0 0.264 it's uh, taken from the root mean square method. So the PP value is 0 0.663. Now we will calculate the CPK and PPK. So as, as per the formula we already have USL, uh, sigma, LSL. So the only remaining is the X double bar. So first we need to calculate X double bar. So how, how we can calculate the X double bar? First we need to take an av average of individual subgroup size. So once individual subgroup average available then we can able to calculate the X double bar by, by taking average of this uh, average of uh, this all uh, 24 uh, uh, readings. So it's come around 11.7. So now we have all the parameters so we can easily calculate the CP and PPK. CPK and PPK. So the pro first uh, CPK process capability index. The formula first uh, we need to calculate both uh, USL uh, minus uh, X double uh, X double bar divided by three sigma and uh, X double bar minus LSL divided by three sigma. So the sigma value here 0 0.249 that's calculated from the range method. So from this we need to take the minimum value. So the upper side is 0 0.95 and lower side is 0 0.39. So the lower is 0 0.39. So CPK value for this case is 0 0.39. Now we'll calculate the process performance index that is PPK. So for that again we need to calculate both the upper side and lower side. The same formula but the sigma value taken from the uh, root mean square method. So that is 0 0.264 for this case. So it's calculated it's coming 0 0.89 for upper side and uh, 0 0.37 for lower side. So the PPK value you need to take at the lower value so, so that is 0 0.37 so now we calculated both CPK and PPK 
so key points in CP, cpk and pppk calculation so first we need to understand the data is a sample data or population data that will uh, useful to uh, calculate the uh, sigma value correctly and then the usl and lsl that we can get it from customer requirement or uh, any drawing or specific requirement so the sigma calculation will differ for cpcpk and pppk for cpcpk we need to use the range method that is r bar divided by t2 for pp and ppk calculation we need to use root mean square method we can use the excel function of stdev.s so the once we get the usl lsl uh, sigma value uh, so we can calculate the cp or pp or pp by using usl minus lsl divided by 3 uh, six sigma and the cpk and ppk we need to uh, get minimum value of usl minus x double bar divided by 3 sigma or x double bar minus lsl divided by 3 sigma Thank you.